What's up everybody, this is Zach coming to you from My Freedom Smokes, here today to talk to you about the Reaper Geek Tank by iJoy. Um, this is like the big brother of the Reaper and the Reaper Plus. Uh, this thing is a 30 millimeter tank and it is a very unique tank, um, one of the most unique that I've actually used myself. Um, and so far I've been enjoying it. I'm not going to actually be vaping on it in the video so I can show you the assembly of this tank um, and show you a little bit of things about it without getting juice everywhere. So right here is the base. As you can see, it's a big boy. Like I said, it's 30 millimeters. And if you can see, there's a coil that already comes in it just to kind of show you how the coils work out. And then it has two holes for two other coils. So it does come with three coils and you can use three coils in this thing, which is pretty insane. Uh, all three coils are 0.4 and the recommended between 35 and 100 watts if you're just using a single coil, which is pretty cool that it has the option of just using a single coil or a dual coil if you want, or all three. Um, it does come with these silicone pieces that you can actually stick inside the hole if you just want to use a single or a dual coil, so you don't have to worry about any juice leaking out or anything like that. It does come with these pretty nifty pliers because once you start to screw in these coils, it does get a little tight in there if you're trying to screw in two or all three. Um, it does come with a nice little grip at the top of the coil, so you don't have to worry about scratching the coil or anything like that. And you actually have something that the pliers can grip onto so you can get down in there and tighten them up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these coils on in so I can show you guys exactly how to do it and can show you how to fill this thing up. Because I know some of you, like me, looking at it at first, it's a little intimidating. And you're probably wondering how does this thing work. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Screw one coil in. Make, you want to make sure that they are pretty tight down in there um, because if it's not making a connection, then it might not read right and then you also might have some leaking problems. So you want to make sure that you tighten it down until it can no longer be tightened. Um, one thing I will say about this tank while I'm screwing these coils in is that this is for the more enthusiastic vapor, I guess you could say. Um, it's more for someone that has already been really into vaping for a while and they're looking for something unique, something a little crazy, something um, not many people are used to seeing, which is definitely what they have done with this tank. Um, and the cool thing about it is it, uh, you can use other Reaper coils in it. Um, it is good for that, so they have actually made it where uh, pretty much I believe every coil that's out right now for the Reaper or the Reaper Plus can be used in this. Um, even the nickel sized flat coils for the uh, original Reaper. Okay, so I got all three coils down in there. Tighten down pretty good. Um, and then this is a little piece that it comes with. Uh, even if you're using a single coil or a dual coil or all three, you're always gonna wanna make sure that this piece is on there so it's sealed nice and tight. Put that on the top of all three coils. Make sure it's down. And then go ahead and put the barrel on there. The piece, the top piece does come out. Um, so it is a top fill, which is really the only way I see this thing working. So get that down nice and tight. Um, and right here, as you can see, you have these three open holes around the coil and the, the coils and that is where you're going to want to fill your juice up. You're going to want to fill your juice up right here, right here, and right here. Even if you're using a single coil, I still recommend um, filling up all three sides just to make sure that that one single coil is going to stay saturated. You don't want to just fill it up on the side that you think is, oh, that you were, sorry. You don't want to just fill it up on the side of where the single coil or dual coils are. I recommend filling up all three. You can go ahead and just screw this thing on. Top piece. And right after that, you should be ready to go. It is a bit of a downfall that you can't see where the juice is at or your juice level's at. Um, but vaping it for a while, you're gonna be able to tell. Um, I would just check up on it here and there a little bit just to make sure that you're not gonna get a burnt hit and ruin three coils at the same time. Um, it does have a 510 removable drip tip. If you don't like the one that it comes with, you wanna put something a little bit more stylish on there, you're good to go. 
Um, it does have massive airflow on both sides and it is adjustable airflow. So if you're using a single coil, you want a little tight airflow, dual coils, a little loose. Uh, all three I recommend leaving the airflow wide open because this thing does chuck some pretty massive clouds, especially with all three coils in there. It is pretty wild. Um, and another safety, just for safety reasons, I recommend making sure that the box mod that you're using this thing on is a good one and has a pretty high watt, uh, pretty high wattage range and a pretty high volt range. Um, I recommend something like uh, the Relo DNA 200 or the RX 200 or even the Fuchai, stuff like that. Um, I will read you just a little bit of the back of the box just so you, you can get a good idea of what they have to say about their own tank. So the Reaper Geek has, as its name suggests, is kind of an enthusiastic level atomizer designed for vaping enthusiasts. Uh, Reaper Geek's design was inspired by a revolver while in a symbol, while can assemble three coils at the same time, it's able to make ultimate vaping clouds, which is, you know, Chinese companies, they say some pretty funny stuff. Um, but that's another reason why I love reading the back of these boxes. Uh, user can diy it so you can do it yourself um i don't really know what that means i haven't really messed around with any rebuilding um on this thing but i'm sure that you can use the rebuildable decks on this thing which would probably be pretty insane um and also pretty cool uh and it can use the other kind of reaper coils the reaper plus coils um which is also pretty cool like i said earlier in the video of course to ensure the safety working please make sure the box mod is a good quality and all that um, so yeah, so that's what they have to say about it on the back. It is inspired by, uh, the design is inspired by a revolver, as you can tell. Um, comes with the Reaper Geek, three coils, two silicone um, style coils, uh, well, two silicone coil size. Um, so you can, you know, put them in the holes if you only want to use one coil or two. Coil cover and then pliers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. That's pretty much it for the Reaper Geek. We got them in here at My Freedom Smokes. Um, so if you're interested, pick one up. If you want to just look at the pictures, read a little bit more about it on our website, myfreedomsmokes.com, as you know. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. I'm Zach, coming to you from My Freedom Smokes. And as always, I hope all you beautiful people have a great day. Be nice to each other.